What up, good people? It's your guy, Iconic, formerly known as Half Man. Yeah. Um, for y'all that, oh, why you, why your name Half Man? Don't get it twisted. It's all because of my zodiac sign. Think about it. But anyway, this video is to shed more light onto. Um, how cops, you know, treat minorities. Well, we're not even a minority, but you know, people of color, people of, um, depending on where they're located at, you know, trailer parks, all that good stuff. But, uh, and after I, I tell you my stories on my or my encounters with the police. Probably talk about um, you know, tall guy and organic, Mister Organic um, running with the police that y'all seen probably a week and a half ago. But anyway, so my very first encounter, um, well, hell, which one should I start with? All right. So the one that the main one that sticks out to me, I'm gonna tell you how it went down. So um I had two cars at the time. License place was up to date. I had a uh, 95 Dodge Stratus ES, kept that mug clean, white. I also had a white uh 1999 Ford Taurus. Kept that mug clean. And it was also white. Almost felt like a young Omi. Omi in a Hellcat. Or in a Dodge, I guess. But anyway, so my license plates on both cars were stolen. I called it in. Talked to the people, the, the cops or whatever. The, um, Reported it stolen. All right. So fast forward, I went to work, got off at 12 o'clock in, you know, midnight, got off and I was going home. All of a sudden, you know, I'm by the cops, pulled up to, to stop light by the cops, you know, no words. Cause Hey, I'm all the way legit for coverage. I ain't got no weapons. I don't do drugs, you know, nothing. I'm wild. I'm alert. I can see. But, um, you know, didn't, didn't think nothing of it. You know, forgot, totally forgot that I reported the, um, the, uh, license plate stolen. All the way up until they got behind me and hit them cherries. Now, before I finish, when they stole my license plates off both cars, they took the back license plates off both of the cars. So, you know, me not thinking nothing of it. And plus, I talked to the police themselves, you know, on the phone. I didn't get any indication or I was not informed that I should not put the original plates like the front ones in the back. So I put the front ones in the back, but in the window. Because why? The license plate is connected to the car itself. Again, I was not informed of it. Um, and I'm thinking, because I gave them the lo location, that they knew it wasn't a upscale neighborhood or whatever, you know, Blase, blase, whatever. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that now, you know, and, you know, this happened probably a good 12 years ago. All right. So they get behind me. They pull me over. What I thought was one cop wasn't one. It, it wasn't just one cop. It was four cop cars on me, five police officers. 
Um, I pulled over. They shine a light. Get out of the vehicle now. Get out of the vehicle. Show me your hands. All right, no problem. You know, I get out the vehicle as I'm getting out. I still got my hands showing in my hands or whatever. And I happen to get out out of the way of the the little the high beam light that they had on me. Right? So I seen that they had the weapons drawn and I'm like all of them like you know for little old me just one person like I had five guns drawn on me for for a traffic stop well what what the hell all right so you know I'm like dang at gunpoint yes at gunpoint I'm like uh, okay all right whatever now, at this point in my mind, I'm like, man, I don't even want to sneeze. If I, <laughs> they, they going to pop up and it's going to be over. So, you know, play the cool, calm collective like Mr. Organic did. Um, got pat down or whatever. And the one cop was like, who car is this? I'm like, it's mine. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. I'm going to ask you again, who car is this? Mine? Wrong answer, wrong answer. You're, you're effing playing with me. No, sir, I'm, I'm not. If this is somebody else's car, if it's coming up in somebody else's name, then I am paying for somebody else's car, which I do not want to, and they need to reimburse me my money. So I told him that. Well, then who car is it? Mine. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. So now the the cop. Now this is. He was on the other side yelling at me from the passenger side. The cop that was uh patting me down pulled out my keys. He going to ask me. Why do you need two? Why, why you have two car keys? Why do you need two car keys? I pause, I'm like, and I say it just like this, because I have two cars? You have two cars. Uh, yeah? Like, all right. So now, because of the keys, key issue, which wasn't an issue, but I guess they made it like an issue or whatever. So now there's a third cop that came over. He was checking through as I was getting pat down. He was checking everything, you know, looking through my wallet, you know, whatever, whatever. So then he goes. Now it's it's drizzling, like like misty rain. He goes and he wipes his hands on my shoulder just like that. I went from cool, y'all ain't got nothing on me, to just how tall guy was in the driver's seat when he got pulled over for his tent, and he had, he had the stiff face. I had the stiff face. I looked at him like, oh, I was heated. He... But I bet you some of y'all out there is thinking, you deserve it. You deserve it. Yeah, okay. All right. Sure. I deserve him wiping his hands on my shirt. I don't know where his hands been. I don't know what he was touching. He could have been in the back of the squad car digging in his butthole. I don't know that. But he going to wipe his hands. Both sides. On my shoulder. Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to turn around and, and, and just. You know. Do what society tells other people that we are known to do as black folks. Get all. Rah! But at that time, yeah, I wanted to go. I wanted to be the stereotype. I wanted to be the stereotype and attack. 
Because why are you wiping your nasty hands on my shirt? And this is rec this is just a routine traffic stop. I did not know I wasn't supposed to put my license plate on my car that was in the front in the back. I did not know that. So that's what I did. So when I got put in the back of the squad car, literally it went from wrong answer, wrong answer to sorry, sorry, Mr. Adams, sorry. You know, the the guy that pat me down, I was in the back of his squad squad car, and he was cool. He was cool. He was cool. But the the other two, Mr. Wrong Answer and Mr. Hand Wipe. Oh man. Officer Hansy and Officer Wrong Answer. You know. And this is for Minnesota uh the Minneapolis Police Department. This was years ago. Years, years ago. Like so it went from that to sorry, Mr. Adams. And I told him, I'm like, I didn't, I didn't know. He was like, he told me, yeah, you know, once you report it stolen, you know, no matter what you do with the license plate, they will always be in the system as stolen unless it's in there in some other way, shape or form. But what you was should have did was go, once you did that, you go back to the DMV and you purchase new license plates. And the fact that they were stolen, they would be cheaper. And all that. I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. I I just thought, hey, I could roll around with them on because that license plate was connected to the car. You know? So, I learned my lesson. I even told this to, to a co-worker and he was like, yeah, it was all your fault. You shouldn't have did that. It was all your fault. Okay. Because I was uninformed. It's my fault that I was uninformed. Okay. That when I was talking to the police, they did not inform me of that. Okay. All right. Whatever. But does that condone the actions of the officers that wiped his hands on me? You know, I really could care less about the dude that was yelling. Although he was kind of aggravating me because I kept telling him it's my car. It's wrong answer. Wrong answer. Like, dude, this ain't even Jeopardy. Alright, um... Oh, so the very first encounter. I was with my boy Train, my guy Train, right? We was up there in Brookdale Mall. Some of y'all that's in Minnesota, y'all know Brookdale Mall back in the day. Now they didn't chopped it up and, you know, it's whatever. You know, we was fresh out of school, you know, school let out. We went up there, you know, chicken head chasing. He had the whip. I had the looks. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. But anyway, we was chicken head chasing. All right, so wasn't nothing happening. It, nothing was popping, no chicks or whatever. It was nothing but old people and, and, and workers. That was it, people that worked at the stores. So we was like, all right, let's bounce and come back later when, you know, maybe some people, kids out of school, get there or whatever. So that's what we did. We left out the mall, jumped in the whip, drove off. Got about a mile away from the mall. Got pulled over. This is what we got. This is what they told us that we got pulled over for. Now, mind you, at that time, I was seven, 16, 17 years old. So was my partner. Um, no, my partner was 18. This is the two reasons, the, the two reasons we got pulled over that time. You all left the mall too early, not too early. You all left the mall too quick and got in the car. How did, we didn't even run to the car. How did we leave the mall too quickly? Then the second one, 
as baby face as I am. Oh, and, and you look like a well-known drug dealer. Oh, okay. All right. I'm 16, 17 years old. I just got out of high school. Um, I'm in high school. Like, well-known drug dealer. So, you know, me and my partner, we in the car. He didn't gave him his license and insurance. So we in the car and we thinking like, well-known drug dealer. If I'm a well-known drug dealer, wouldn't you know what that person would look like? I look like a well-known drug dealer? Like, really? I ain't got, I, I didn't have no facial hair. I might have had a little, little strand right here or, you know, you know how his light-skinned brothers are, blotchy beard or whatever. But anyway, we was thinking like, and, and on top of that, a drug dealer. Most drug dealers I know ain't ain't rolling around in, in cars with duct tape on it, you know. So they came and they took my boy in. They made me walk because I didn't have a license at that time. But I just, I really... Felt like that was a stupid reason to pull over two young, two young kids. I could see, yeah, you pull up behind, you run the place. If don't nothing red flag come to you, and we seat belts, blinkers, all that. If we're not doing anything wrong, there should be no reason. I oh, bit my tongue. There should be no reason to pull us over. We wasn't doing no donuts, no standstill burnouts, anything like that. We left the mall. And with us swagalicious culture, our walk to the car. Just like that. It wasn't no to the car. We didn't run. We didn't we didn't hustle. We walked to the car. Cool, calm, collective. Why? Because we was chicken chasing and we want to be seen. You know? So that was the two encounters. I had more. But, you know, it's whatever. Um, But as far as a uh, tall guy, yo, dude, man, I know your pain. I know how upsetting... It was for you to sit there. What, what? Yeah, your video said what over an hour you sat there. Oh man, in the hot sun, L.A. I ain't never been there, but I know it's hot. Man, I would have been heated too, all for some 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 window tint. Oh, I, I think your car is. Uh, you modified your car. If I modified my car, it would be just the tent because I just told you I picked it up from, you know, hey, dude, hey, yo, I, I get it. I understand, you know, and uh, for Mr. Organic, when he got pulled over, hey, that was that was hilarious. That was hilarious. And the fact that, you know. Mr. Organic, you stayed like in good spirits with it. Like, yo, that was, that was a hey, kudos. Tall guy, you stayed in good spirits too, but I understand and I feel your frustration, man. I do. Like, like it was uncalled for. Traffic stop. Go ahead, write the ticket and let me be on my way. You know, unless you about to impound my car, write the ticket, give it to me. And let let me go ahead about my business, cause you 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 cock blocking, you know. But uh, what I want everybody to do that's watching this video, comment down below your run-ins with the cops that you felt like they were just being idiots about. Just write your stories down. And if you ain't writing your stories down in the comments and you want to post them on your YouTube video, 
post them. And then, you know, maybe leave a link in the comment section for me to go watch and, and you know, so I could come and bless your page with a like and a subscribe. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, you know, I think a lot of people should put their stories out to share, to shed light on how we're being treated. Because a lot of people that don't deal with the police like that think we're all crazy and that we're lying. But yo, put your stories out there. You know, this got to stop. Like, hey, not, I, I, I feel organic and, 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 uh, tall guy. All police ain't buttholes. But there are some buttholes that's in police. You know. So share your story. I shared mine. I hope you like and subscribe. And um let's just let's just shed the light on on these cops that's just overusing their power, misusing their powers, you know. I like cops too. I'm 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 for the American flag and and the blue line, the red line, all that stuff. But I understand that we got some jerks in the law enforcement, you know. And and not most not all of them are like that. And also to Officer Jones, tall guy's brother, yo. I commend you, support you, keep doing you, get well soon, dude.